My name is Ed Schaefer, a longtime member of Norwich Christian Church in Cedar Rapids, where I am privileged to serve on the Board of Elders. I've been asked to participate in our Rise in Faith series and to follow up on Joan's meditation on response. I'd like to offer some thoughts on how we might navigate through our response a little more successfully. As Joan talked about, when faced with change and uncertainty, we can experience a wide range of emotions. Noted change management guru, William Bridge, talks about three stages that we go through when faced with change and uncertainty. The end phase, where we struggle with what we are giving up. The neutral phase, where we grapple with actually losing or changing something. And the new phase, when we accept the changes and learn how to live with them. Experts tell us that as we process through all the emotions that go with each of those three phases, it is imperative that we have an anchor or a constant that we can hold on to through the three phases. Jeremiah 29 11 gives us a great scripture for us to use as an anchor to help us process through those emotions that Joan talked about. Jeremiah 29 tells us, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God's plan for our lives is a wonderful reminder of his unfailing love for us. God has a perfect plan for each of us. Sometimes it seems like his plan is always different from ours, but his plans are always perfect. It's important that we are patient and trust in his timing. God's love will carry us through any situation we're facing, no matter the size or intensity of that situation. Every difficult situation we face, whether big or small, is preparing us to be stronger for God's plan. God will use our trials to produce greater faith and strength if we allow him to. Sometimes it's hard for us to grasp the magnitude of God's love. Psalm 89.2 is an incredible reminder of the kind of love God has for us. Your failing love will last forever. Your faithfulness is as enduring as the heavens. God's love for us is not only unfailing, but also forever. That will never change. Coupling God's unfailing love for us, as seen in Psalms 89, with his plan to give us hope and a future, as given to us in Jeremiah 29, provides us with the perfect fail-proof anchor we need to cope with all the emotions we experience as we navigate through this time of uncertainty and of change. Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, your love endures forever, and for that we are eternally grateful. We come in prayer to say thank you for your love and for the anchor you have given us to make it through difficult times of change and uncertainty. Our prayer is that we keep your plan for us in the forefront of our thoughts and that we let your unfailing love for us guide our hearts. We pray this in your Holy Son's name. Amen. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round can't find the fighter but I see it in you so we gonna walk it out and move move mountains we're gonna pray it out 